Aloha and welcome to Hawaii Vacation News for the week of June 9th, 2008. My name is Bruce Fisher and this news is brought to you by Hawaii-Aloha.com. In Hawaii, Hawaii's experts. Be prepared to encounter Obama mania if you come to Hawaii before November's election. Obama dedicated his win to his grandmother, Madeline Dunham, who raised him right here in Honolulu. He said he doesn't know if he'll be able to visit the islands between now and the election, but believes his visiting Hawaii would call attention to the state's unique multiracial culture. The Hawaii Obama campaign, which began here in 2006, was among the first draft Obama campaigns nationwide. Hawaiian Airlines announced a major expansion of its inter-island service with the addition of four Boeing 717 jets. The state's largest airline said the new aircraft will increase its inter-island fleet to 15. Two of the four jets will begin flying in September. The remaining aircraft will begin flying in November and December. The expansion comes after the state's number two carrier, Aloha Airlines, shut down its passenger service on March 31st. If you haven't noticed it, airfares to Hawaii are on the rise. And keeping up with these increases is practically a full-time job. Now here's a tip to help you save money on your Hawaii vacation. The best way to increase your chances of getting lower airfares is to purchase bulk airfare, which are only offered to travel agents. These bulk airfares, combined with a hotel or a car, often save you the most money. And when you buy bulk airfare, you don't have to pay for it right away, giving you some breathing room. Here at Hawaii-Aloha.com, we specialize in Hawaii airfares that are bulk airfares, so check out our website at Hawaii-Aloha.com or give us a call at 1-800-843-8771. Bringing a rental car onto the Hawaii Super Ferry on the surface seems like a great idea, right? Well, think twice if you plan on taking a rental car one way onto the Super Ferry because you'll pay a hefty drop-off price. Super Ferry officials proudly announced its acceptance of rental cars last week and told consumers to contact the individual rental car companies for details. Well, that's what we did for you. And we found out the extra fees involved in taking a rental car on a one-way basis range from $200 to get this $500. Moral of the story is you can save yourself a lot of money by simply turning in your car before you board the Super Ferry and just renting a new one when you get to another island. Have you heard about Hawaii's wonderful trade winds and that they're the secret to the fantastic weather we enjoy here? Trade winds prevail about 90% of the time during the summer months and blow from the northeast to the east-northeast. They were called trade winds a couple of centuries ago when trade ships depended on them for fast passage through the Pacific. What we care about now, though, is that they mean perfect temperatures assisted by welcome breezes. It's not always that perfect, however. Sometimes Kona winds blow from the other direction, the opposite direction, bringing humidity, cloudy skies, and rain. You probably won't notice the Kona weather when you come here, but those of us who live here consider Kona wind days to be days for indoor, air-conditioned activities. Lucky for all of us, though, that 9 out of 10 days are trade wind days, bringing our islands the best weather in the world. Speaking of the weather, let's take a look at the island weather for this week. Trade winds will weaken slightly this week as a upper level low moves across the islands. This low is also going to produce some isolated showers, heavy at times, at the beginning of this week. Then by Wednesday, sunny skies are expected with very little chance of showers. Highs are going to be in the mid-80s, lows in the mid-70s. Looks like a great vacation weather a week ahead for you. That wraps it up for this edition of the Hawaii Vacation News. Tune in again next week for more news. And in the meantime, for back episodes, videos, and links, go to our website at hawaii-aloha.com. Until next time, my name is Bruce Fisher saying aloha and mahalo.